Hi friends, this is Rev. M. I thought I would play my gong for you. It's beautiful and it sounds out of this world. And have a little fun. You've got a sweet spot. Three o'clock, seven o'clock. Two thousand years ago, according to him, he had been the commander of a fleet of war galleys in the Mediterranean. And he had had an affair with the priestess of the temple on Sardinia. And he used to make assignations with her by her secret tunnel under the temple. And, uh, well, at the island, he made a little patch of the model of the secret temple and sent his troops around the skulls around for it. And there it was, lo and behold, uh, it was a stone which resembled the, the water. And uh, they thought it was the entrance. And we'll have a describe this at the party, uh, celebrating his return. Uh, the whole room was erupted into cries of good old John Ormond and the rest of the world. I think there was only one there, uh, uh, the kind of garden of the bank that never thought. Well, this is marvelous showmanship. Two thousand years ago, according to him, he had been the commander of a fleet of war galleys in the Mediterranean. And he had an affair with the priest of the temple on Sardinia. And he used to make assignations with her by her secret tunnel into the temple. And, uh, well, at the island, he made a little passive model of the secret entrance and sent his trip along the crowd around for it. And there it was, lo and behold, uh, there was a stone which resembled the, the model. And uh, they thought, well, this is the entrance. You think that you're okay, eh? Well, I don't know that I'm okay any more than anybody else is okay, but I at least live a happy life and a very full one. I have a happy marriage and my kids are all cheerful and I'm not any nobody's finding any fault with me personally do you ever think that you might be quite mad oh yes the one man in the world who never believes he's mad is a madman Admiral of the fleet Admiral of Commander-in-Chief an admiral and a commander-in-chief. Being a flag officer, or a commodore of the first class, shall be received on board any of His Majesty's ship by a guard of Marines and land forces serving as such. Commanded by a captain and major, the officers saluting, the bugles sounding the flourish with arms presented and the bands playing march. Vice Admiral. A Vice Admiral, not being the Commander in Chief, shall be received by a guard of Marines or land forces serving as such. Commanded by a Captain and Major. The officers saluting. The bugle sounding the flourish. With arms presented and the band playing a march. <laughs> 